I think we are live. Okay. Um, I think we're live, yeah. So, um, I think you can, you know, put on your camera. We'll kick off. And then we'll get uh, people joining as we progress. Yeah, we've already pushed it out live on the Facebook page of uh, Institute of Network Marketers. Um, I'm sure the other guys in the group will join shortly with all their key people as well. Uh, and then, you know, I get things rolling. I'm not seeing your face yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, good. Okay, okay, good. So um, I'll just start with an introduction uh, while we wait for uh, everyone else to join us. Um, okay. The beautiful thing is we have this recorded as well. So it will be available on all the platforms and on YouTube subsequently, and people can learn. Uh, one of the things we are looking forward to doing is that all of, all of these learnings will become something that people will need to go through uh, to become, you know, to become st stable people within the industry. So, you know, you've listened to the leaders, you've seen the culture, you've seen uh, what's important, and it can become valuable for generations beyond now. So I like to do, I like when we are doing things, we know that what we're doing is beyond just our time, but will be valuable for people who will come uh, way after as well. Mm -hmm. So for everyone who is here today, and for all those who will join us uh, today, I'll be in, I have the privilege of introducing an amazing leader in the network marketing industry uh, from Nigeria, uh, who is building a global team. Uh, please today, we have on the podium, Mr. Francis Chihora. He's an alumni of the Neuro Linguistic Training Program and Certified Life Coach from Lanre Olushola. He speaks in businesses, business conferences internationally with core competence in sales and personal productivity optimization. Uh, he has built to the top uh, of multiple network marketing organizations. Today, he is the founder and managing director of Profit Arcade Limited, a Forex education platform providing training, mentoring, and advisory values to his growing client base. Uh, today, he is a top leader, uh, one of the top leaders in one of uh, the most promising network marketing companies on this side of, uh, of the world. Uh, I think he's a global company as well, so and he's featuring heavily here in this side of the world as well. He's a graduate of economics from the prestigious University of Lagos. He's a student member of the ICANN, CITN, and CIS. Uh, Mr. Francis Chiora is married and blessed with three adorable daughters. If you are in the house today, I'd like you to help me give it up for Mr. Francis Chiora. Just let me say you are welcome and celebrate him as we set the ball rolling for tonight. Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting day. Uh, it's starting slowly, but it's going to start well. So I think, you know, over to you. I think that's an amazing uh profile wow you know for the things you've done and amazing for the pathways you've been can you you know just let us know a little bit about yourself and tell us you know which of your accomplishments uh excites you the most yeah th thank you so much um mr diolo um you, you've been just more volume an inspiration okay thank you so much mr diolo um you've been of amazing inspiration to me personally uh, i was just telling you before we got on uh, on a live call that um, 10 years ago I had the privilege of, you know, going past January solutions uh, <laughs> because you, you really set the pace for what we're having in Nigeria. And I can tell you the whole of Africa, you might not know it. And of course uh, you've been able to set the pace. And of course, I'm really glad to see what you've been able to achieve and how, what you're still doing right now, uh, laying a foundation for, for, for leaders to come uh, years after now. Um, I'm really excited to be on the call. Uh, being on this call with you is a privilege and not a right. Thank God. Um, I started this journey about 10 years ago. And um, I started like a, strong, a struggling young man mm. uh, who just wanted to make had some means. Mm. I didn't understand what network marketing was, you know, how that somebody gets to show you a particular plan and tell you that there's money on the, on the side of it. All you mm. want to do is to do what it takes to get the money. And um, in one of those occasions, I remember stumbling, you know, you were leading uh, a very uh, strong uh, organization and you're still doing that right now. You know, just seeing your posture, seeing your personality 
and many more people showed me that this was real. I didn't know the evidence I had then was, there was a Dolly Akiyemi, there were other names then, and I told myself this is possible. You know, um, some years back, um, I used to work for the legal state government. I'm a trained accountant. I read economics at the University of Lagos. I'm a student member of ICANN, Institute of Chartered Accountants, uh, Institute of Stockbrokers as well. Um, I used to work for Lagos State Government. I was a revenue supervisor uh, in the tax audit department. We we're auditing in charge of auditing companies. And I, I used to work, uh, I was employed by the former boss of Fela Inla Revenue Service, a very popular man, Mr. Babak today Fowler. You know, mm. and, um, you know, but the truth of the matter is the size of your dream determines the decisions you make. Mm. You know, uh, mm. proud to the time uh, when I started working there, I remember I started my network marketing journey right from when I was in school, school days. Um, come from a very humble background. And of course, I must tell you, um, just... I, is that my network or yours? Hello, we lost you for a bit. I don't know if it's my network or yours. Can we hear him? Hello out there, if you can hear, just you know, put the comments of, can you hear me or can you hear him? I think uh, we had a little challenge with internet. Uh, you know, but nevertheless, can I get feedback from the audience if you can hear him at all? Uh, if you can't hear him, I'm sure it's going to be it's a glitch that will soon be resolved. Um, yeah, I suspect it as well. I think it was a glitch from his network. As soon as he joins us and comes back on board, we will hear him. I was getting to hear the exact uh, information he was giving us about his days with uh, tax authorities with Fowler and, and how he began his journey. So I'll see, hold on to everyone that is still there. Uh, I'm sure as soon as he joins us back again, he will move in as panelists and we can continue this exciting discussion. Um, if you're still there, just hold on patiently. I'm sure you can hear me and I'm, I, you know, I can continue to host you until we have him back on the podium. We are still talking from the Institute of uh, Network Marketers. We're sharing lessons, timeless lessons uh, from if you, from leaders in the industry, how people have started from, you know, without any pedigree and how they've built phenomenal organizations. They've attained the height of their businesses. Basically just to inspire everyone and let us all know that you can do this. If we can do this, then you can do this as well. This is something that everyone can do. All it takes is some grit. All it takes is having clear goals and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure, you know, I'm going to have him back on board quickly and uh, to continue that interesting story. Uh, while we're waiting for him, let me share something very little that happened to me yesterday with you. So I was talking with one person I see as a mentor uh, in the field, uh, in the field that I'm interested in, and she has blazed some amazing trails. And I was saying to her, like, look, you know, I look at what you're doing. I look at the size of what you're doing. And I'm, you know, I'm excited i'm thrilled and i'm saying one day i'm going to be like this and she said to me Diolu, you know i wasn't always like this you know we started from somewhere and we're able to build it here and where it starts from is for you being intentional about desiring it so uh if you can be intentional about where you want to get to that's the first that's the first thing that you need to do once that intention is out there and you want to get to a particular place it's all a matter of time. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you for being here today and for having this intention to become great. Okay, um, I want to be sure that I have him on board, please. If you are in again, if it's with a new name, just send me a message so that I can upgrade you to where you can you know, join on the panel quickly. Uh, so I think the first step to every greatness is being deliberate, being intentional, uh, and saying, you know what, this is what I want to do. Uh, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to achieve. This is, you know, this is my, this is my dream. Uh, once you're intentional about it, everything is achievable. You know, doesn't send me a picture of how they started, of where they were in the middle game, and where they are today, and they are still looking forward to a next level. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but there's a next level that is possible for you. You just need to be intentional and just need to believe it. 
Okay, I think I got him back in again. Yeah, excellent. You're welcome. Uh, we understand these things happen. <laughs> I am, I, I am complete. <clears throat> this is not a time for, 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 me to have, for us to have been something fine. like this. It's fine. Um, it's so, so really like it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. You are telling us about, you are telling us about why you were with the Fowler as a tax, you know, in accounting tax and all that. So we really yeah. appreciate for where you were before. Yeah. Great. Great. So of course, proud to the time I, you know, for me, I had, I struggled mightily, you know, it's okay for people to know that there was a beginning. It's okay for people to know that you had to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it was a case of having to struggle mightily while in school, you know, and of course, all those struggles, I believe, were credentials for what's mm -hmm. happening right now. Mm -hmm. um, those struggles of having to go through school, having to do the, you know, do some night jobs while at the Charlton, but something happened magical. It was at a point where I was, I was actually had big goals, you know, you know, make your, make your goal so big that yesterday dies. I had mm -hmm. big goals. So much so that even while I was there, you know, as a housekeeper doing what I was doing at the Charlton Hotel and Towers, my goal was to go to school. My goal was to, you know, become a chartered accountant, become, you know, become a chartered, a chartered stockbroker. And eventually I evolved to the point that I started working with Lagos State Government as a tax administrator. But prior to the time I had to pay the price. You know, people need to know before, the, before every glory, there's a story. You know, I got started working with, you know, Charlton Hotel and Towers. That was my story eventually evolved through school. But prior to the time I was introduced to network marketing. While I was working with the Charlton Hotel and Towers, I was still in school. And you know, somebody said, tell me about network marketing. The concept made sense. You know, mm. you get value, you share value. That made sense to me. Mm. You know, and of course for me, that was the very first time I, I got the concept of network marketing. While I was in school, even though I was doing what I was doing, I knew that was not for me. I knew that was a face. Success mm. is a moving target. I mm. knew that was a face. Mm. And eventually at the point, I started looking at network marketing. I'm talking mm. of over 10 years ago. And of course, mm. along the line, I met you. You are generals in the industry, <laughs> you know, <laughs> doing your thing and you're still standing. It's amazing to know uh, mm. to have people like you who have represented us uh, years after years. So mm. eventually I uh, evolved, uh, finished from school. Uh, you know, we had to follow the modus operandi, go to school, get a job. Eventually <laughs> I got a job. <laughs> I got a job. And, you know, I was employed. I had a good, uh, you know, service from where I was coming from uh, because I did something rep uh, reputable. It was um, a case of $9,000 misplaced by a guest, you know. So I think the story went to the Internet Revenue Service. And, of course, I had the qualifications as well. So I was put in a strategic position, you know, where I was a tax auditor, auditing company. So integrity was needed at the time. Mm -hmm. I was employed directly by, 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 by Batude Fowler, the mm -hmm. former Inland Revenue Service, direct mm -hmm. employment. So I got into, into that employment. Uh, but of course, when you're big, your goals are big. You know, mm. you know the size of your dream determines the decisions you make. Mm. So I saw network marketing in the game. Mm. At the time, I noticed that my nine to fives was not enough to take me home. Mm. You know, and uh, one incident was it for me. It changed the whole thing. So eventually I got married in the process. You know, my wife was pregnant. Then we were living somewhere around, um, you know, Egbeda in Okola. You know, mm. my story. And um, I remember it was a struggle, civil service salary, you know. And of course, because you needed to stay in the, in the confines of integrity, there are certain things you will not do. Mm. Um, so eventually I noticed that this, if I would have to continue with this and I don't want to compromise, I have to do something quickly. Mm. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I have to do something quickly. So the concept of network marketing came back again. You know, I had that concept then. I didn't make a lot of money. You know, but this concept came back again and it made sense. You know, concept of really leading a few people to do a few simple things over an extended period of time made sense mm. to me. Mm. So eventually I, I was there working for the Lagos State government and I was privileged to see another presentation. Now, if you have a big goal and you truly have a big goal and you have love for people and you see a typical network marketing compensation plan, I am not moved and I don't, I don't know what will move you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm telling you. So, mm. you know, I was there, civil service salary, you know, but I knew that I was more than this. Eventually, somehow, I came into that presentation and I saw the numbers. It was a supplement company then. I saw the numbers. I saw the figures and something triggered in me. When somebody asked, just pointed at one of the young men, said that young man going makes about $8,000. You don't want to know how much I was earning at the time. 
you don't want to know. $8,000 and I figured, what did he do? And while I was still trying to recover from that, the guy sitting by my side, that young man is a good, good recruit. He knew what could trigger something in you. That means, I believe that everyone has that, you know, uh, magnificent obsession. If you have that desire in you and you're face to face with network marketing, then of course, what is billionaire status? If only you are consistent, uh, you know, and consistently stable. Um, so eventually he pointed at another young man and said, this man makes $13,000. I'm talking of 2012, mm. 2012. I was mm. working for the Lagos State government. I was future staff one. I was leading this team, but I knew I would not compromise. I knew that was not, it was a no, no. And when I looked at the nine to fives, I tried to measure the salaries for five years. And I wondered, Francis, if you continue like this for five years, you might not get to where you want to go. Mm. So eventually I look at $13,000. Mm. That was it for me. Mm. And I asked myself, what is it about the product? What do I need to do? And I was given a, a blueprint. I remember I had a mentor then, Mr. Femi Saeed. Uh, you know, and of course, that's where mentorship comes to play. I believe that everyone in this industry should have a mentor. Mm. I believe that everyone, you know, it's not about who you're leading, it's about who you're following. You know, it's not about so much about who you're leading or who you're following. So eventually this young man, you know, gave me some of the rudiments I, I, you know, that got me going. You know, and of course, I started to grow from there. That was the first break for me in network marketing. You know, had from that company, I had a record on Broken. Uh, up till now, you know, we set in the company. But one thing that was big for me was the desire. I was hungry. You know, my mentor came up with a formula, uh, Mr. David Imonite. He said, the formula for success is desire plus skill times faith equals success. Now, most people don't bring desire to the table. Once you have desire, it doesn't stop there. You need to map that whole skill set. And that's where the, the, the juices start to flow. When you have the skill set and you mad that with desire, and of course, with faith, and faith comes by repetition. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. Believing, saying those things that you believe, you know, affirming those things and staying in the place of believing eventually gets you there. You know, mm -hmm. so my story briefly was that of grass to grace. It was that of a young man who needed to survive. You know, I, I had a pregnant wife at the time. You know, I had my landlord. I saw my landlord, you know, push, you know, chase out a tenant who could not pay the house rent. Mm. And I didn't love that experience. Mm. You know, some of these things really drove me to say, Francis, you need to get this thing happen. Mm. So my, my back was on the wall. In fact, this also happened, uh, Mr. Diolu. Mm. That at the time, you know, God has a way of working things out, creating experiences that really get you to where you want to go. Mm. At the time, this tenant, uh, you know, the wife just finished out a caesarean operation. And it was, for me, I said, if this could happen to this young man, I could be the next. You mm. know, I was working, but I can tell you, the salaries were not adding up. But of course, I had to tell myself, Francis, what then is the next thing? I found network marketing, and I've been a big break for me. From that same company, I made about 100 million in commissions, you know, you know qualified, made qualification, made trips and incentives. You know, it's been from glory to glory. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to pause you a bit and we're going to break this down so that the people who are listening, who are looking at the numbers and looking at the high frequencies are saying, how can this become possible for me? How can I be like Mr. Francis? How can I, you know, look back and say, I made, you know, this from this, you know, so I want us to break it down a bit and I would like us to take it layer by layer. So you said something that I like very much. You said there was a success formula that you had. And that it was desire plus skill times faith plus something. Can you help us break it down in the next maybe three, four minutes? What is this formula for success and how can we operate it? You know, um, you know, basically one of the things I look out for, you know, when I get people want to get people recruited is what we call the four checkers. Um, mm. You must have a center of influence. You must mm. have, you know, you must have the means to get started. You must be a self-starter. And of course, it must be teachable and coachable. When I got started, I only had maybe two of those. When I see people who have maybe three of those or four of those, or maybe one, one, one of those four checkers, you know, when I see any, any, any of that, those are the leaders I, get, I gravitate towards. Those are the people I want to attract into my business. When I started, I didn't have the means. I didn't have the influence. What I had then at the time, I just had, you know, and I just had, I was a self-starter. I just had a desire. I believe the starting point of all achievements is desire. If you truly want to get to where you want to go, desire is the starting point of all achievement. Mm. And, you know, for me, I think that's where it starts from. 
But that, it doesn't end there. You need to get to the point where you begin to learn. You know, what I had then, Mr. Dulu, was desire. I had desire, you know, I didn't want to end up like the other tenants. I didn't want to end up, you know, not taking care of the, you know, the, I just got married, you know, and I looked at the innocence of my wife. I looked at the innocent, beautiful damsel I just got married to. I said, Francis, this must not happen. Mm. This must not happen. So for me, and that's my why. I have three lovely daughters today, my beautiful wife. I look back to that and said, I want to give them the best of life. Of mm. course, my wife has gravitated and grown to other things, you know, mm. impacting people and most of those things. But that, for me, was my why at the time. And still my why now. So where mm. it starts from is desire. Everyone must have a desire. Desire is the starting point of all achievements. You mm. know, you have to have a desire. But of course, it doesn't stop there. You know, I see a lot of people come and they say they have desire, you know, and I see them, you know, just get started and eventually fade out. You see, if you motivate an idiot, you only get a motivated idiot. Mm -hmm. What I see people do, they come into the system with a lot of desire recruiting, but where's the place of knowledge? There are four levels of knowledges. We have what we call the learning knowledge. We have what we call, you know, the activity knowledge. We have what we call the, the training knowledge and the mentorship, mentoring knowledge. So you need to get to the point where you, you grow and evolve in the place of skill. Now, you need to learn the skills of network marketing. Lots of people don't know this is a profession. And I love what you're doing. Uh, you know, you're a superstar, you know, leading the front of making people know this is a profession. You know, the skill of presenting, the skill of prospecting, the skill of inviting. Those are skills that people need to learn. You don't just dabble anything. You know, see a lot of people are motivated. There's a network marketing plan. Which one? Okay, I want a new one. Which one is which one is up right now? You see, it starts with just having a goal. You know, I love the four, six levels by Zig Ziglar. The six, you know, setting goals. You must have a goal. You must have your goal written out. And of course, you know, all you see, these are steps people need to follow. These are principles people need to follow. Mm. Put all this in perspective, you're good to go. You know, Zig mm. said you must have a goal. You mm. must have your goal written out. Mm. You, you know, you, you must have a game plan. Mm. You, you must actually identify those you want to work with. Mm. And of course, you must pay yourself while having that goal. Mm. Identify your obstacles. So, but let's mm. put it in perspective. Have a goal. That's where it starts from. What's your goal? Number two, you must, you must have your goals written out. So write the vision. Make it plain on the table that you may run that read it. Number three, identify the obstacles. What can stop me in achieving these goals? Number four, Identify those you want to work with. And one of the biggest advantages we have in network marketing is my ability to choose who I want to work with. Yep. You know, when I, that one of the biggest advantages. Number five, I'm going to get to the point where I have to have a game plan, a plan of action. And number, number six, and of course, I need to get to know what is in it for me. Now, the big thing about network marketing is when you get involved, there are lots of incentives. There are lots of, there are lots of levels and prizes. People can win. You know, the mm -hmm. company set up in such a way that if you have a goal and you stay consistent with your goal, the industry to consider is network marketing. But of course, it doesn't come without having to get a skill set. Skill set, what the skill of presenting, the skill of prospecting, the skill of follow up, the skill of getting prospects started right, creating a system. You know, when we got started, I learned from my mentor, you have to do it, get a name list. You know, not getting only a name list. You have to go through the four checkers. I just mentioned that. The four mm -hmm. checkers. And what are the four checkers? You know, does this person have the means to get started? Does this person have a sense of influence? Is this person teachable or coachable? Is this person a self-starter? When I see one out of four, I'm good. When I see four out of four, that's a big break. Then I've gotten a stud, another dog. So when I see these things play out, then I see people who are doing this professionally. Mention the likes of Desta Yaga, Rough Keep, David Imonite, Alex Morton. All these individuals have learned the ropes. I think one thing that really gets us to where we want to go and we can be put on the chart here in Nigeria and Africa, as you know, is to really get to the point where we leave the place of desire. It's good to have desire. It's good to have a magnificent obsession. But what do I want to do next? I need to learn the skill. And of course, again, your faith. Faith coming by hearing and hearing. Mm -hmm. One thing I learned from my mentor is to have a vision environment. If you come where I stay right, this is my home office. It is a vision environment. I have, I have a Rosalind Schoolyman. I have, I have the next house I want to buy. You know, we bought properties in the past. But of course, success is a moving target. I have a vision board and I keep affirming them. Faith coming by hearing and hearing. So I learned from my mentor, said there are four things that impact your belief, that impacts your faith, that impacts your belief. You need to have the right association. You need to have the right environment. 
You need to put in the right information. Create the right experiences. You know, some days ago before, just after the lockdown, I needed to really feed my mind. So one of the things I did was I went to price the latest uh, BMW at Coach Cars. Just after the, after the lockdown, I got there was a, about 18 million. I told the lady I'm coming back. You know, you see, you know, just got a brand, you just got 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 an SUV, but I want a higher SUV. You know, I want a Rolls Royce Coolman, about four hundred thousand dollars. Now those things create the experiences, you know, and that's the place of faith. Desire plus skill times faith equals success. Mm, mm, interesting. Somebody is saying Hurricane Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, feeling the fire. <laughs> well done. Well done. Okay, so I want to, I want to, you know, this is looking interesting. And anybody who's listening, you can you have listened to this. So this guy was working in a hotel, then got an accounting job where he was a civil servant. And then one day he went for a seminar and boom, something turned up inside his head. And he felt like there's more to life, there's more I can do to this. Can you please quickly share with us? How does your life before this compare with your life now? What has transpired over the course of the last 10 years? Can you share with us? For somebody who wants to be you, you're saying, look, you know, how, how good can this get? <laughs> you know, um, what I can say is anyone who has the paid off kind of belief um, would eventually succeed here. What I mean by paid off is having the patience. You know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, the patience and not just patience, to really, really walk the walk with peace. You know, mm. patience is not waiting and watching. Patience is waiting, waiting and walking. You know, most of the people who come into the industry, what I've noticed, don't have the patience. It's called the paid of belief. Patience, activity, inspiration, and discipline. Mm. Now, that's called, it's called paid off. It, now, mm. If you want to get paid in this industry, you must have a kind of, Paid up, kind of believing, having the patience, patience. They get on the platform, they jump from that bus on the other side. You need to let learn to water your own grass. Mm -hmm. So when I got started, I, I want to really appreciate God for the kind of mentorship I've been exposed to. Like I told you, I had a Femi Said at the time. Right now, I'm being mentored, you know, by Mr. David Imonite. I don't know if that's okay to talk about that, you know. But you know, all all those individuals that people that got set ahead of me. You know, who have gone ahead. And I think people need to really recognize that, you see, those people are the people I look up to and I tell myself, Francis, you need to keep going. God started, like I shared with you, uh, working uh, as a housekeeper. Then I was, uh, you know, I was working, cleaning 16 rooms, 15 rooms per day. And then to do those kind of many jobs to go to school. I believe those credentials has actually made the Francis Chihora that we see right now. Before you envy the glory, check the story. Mm. You know, at the time, you know, working with the Charlton Hotel and Tars, cleaning rooms, because I needed to, because of my background. And you see, your background is not the reason for you to remain on the ground. So I told myself, Francis, you need to do something about this. I had, I, you know, I had, I had, a strong, I had strong goals, I had big goals. You know, make your goal so big that, that yesterday dies. Goal, the goals were big. And I told myself, Francis, I had, I had a vision of where I wanted to get to. Of course, even though I was cleaning rooms, my mind were not cleaning rooms at the time. Mm. Eventually, gone to, uh, studied economics at the University of Lagos, you know, you know, went through school, picked up a job eventually with Lagos State Government. Like I said, I did something very significant. I believe one of the biggest currency, uh, I don't know if I'm talking off the records, but one of the biggest currency speaking, that speaks for people today is integrity. You know, I remember then, I'm talking of 2004, I found $9,000 on the corridor, I, I won't forget, on the fourth floor as a housekeeper. Now, I knew that was not, you know, because you see, you need to really account for everything you make. That wasn't my money. 9,000 US dollars as a young man who was being paid 7 to, to 19 euro per hour, cleaning about 15 to 16 rooms. I didn't understand the, the magnitude of that income. But eventually what I did, no one saw me, I returned the money. That integrity spoke for me eventually. Uh, Mr. Dioli, would you believe that that record given to me by an Austrian man, if I see him today, I wouldn't know him, actually spoke for me in Lagos State when they needed somebody to take the mantle of, you know, of leading a team, you know, of somebody who had integrity in a place of taxation, collecting taxes for Lagos State. Eventually I was employed by uh, the former uh, Inland Revenue Service, Mr. Babatude Fowler. I work in that capacity. And because, you know, integrity got me there. 
I wouldn't want to dent that integrity. So I, I had to quietly, because I knew that the nine to five could not take me home. You know, of course, when I had to start doing different certifications and all that, those experiences actually add up. Those things that happen make you, there is a formation. Uh, mm -hmm. Eventually, by the grace of God, I, that was the, the break came for me when I was invited to a network marketing presentation. And when I saw the compensation plan, I was restless. Now, the guy <laughs> beside me, <laughs> I'm telling you, I was restless, especially for me. Just tell me what I need to do. Mm. And I believe what anyone can do, everyone can do. Mm. Just tell me what I need to do. You mm. know, sitting back there, listening to the presentation. At some point, I was there in the hall. I was not there anymore. Those figures, you know, what puts the icing on the cake for me was when he could identify individuals who were making those obscene kind of income at the time. Now, mm. if I tell you what I was earning, uh, you know, and the gap between that and $8,000, it, it, was, it was like, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was the, the two, polar, pol, two polar opposites. So, but eventually I got, I got involved, got involved in that industry. And in three months, got broke a record, uh, you know, mm. you know, that, you know, right now still a record and um, moved on from that company and eventually got into the company that I'm in right now. Um, and, and it's been amazing. It's been, it's been a journey and not a destination. It's been an experience. Today, uh, we've made hundreds of thousands of dollars right from this company. And it's just an amazing experience. You know that network marketing gives the freedom that you want to have. Travel to places, you know, by the grace of God, you know, I just give him all the glory, but assets, you know, looking back today, I'm so grateful. If I picked up $9,000, what would I compared? That would have just been eroding. Because see, God has a path for everyone. You just need to know your path. If I picked mm -hmm. up $9,000, now look at the hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, look at, you know, I'm talking of, it's amazing sure. what God can do. Now, just being able to know that I could stay, I could stay consistent. I call it the pain of believing, being patient. Not just being patient, having the peace. You know, lots of people are, you know, they, they, they don't have the peace of growth. The piece of following the process, you know, putting the right activity, and of course, and of course, having the inspiration to keep going and putting the discipline that it takes to really succeed. It's called the pain of believing. Awesome, awesome, awesome thoughts. Um, you know, so looking at you, uh, Francis, looking at you, I I can see your passion, I can see your energy, I can see the massive action, I can <laughs> see, and I can say, I'll tell you something, I can see that you could have succeeded in anything. So if you had to do something else, you would have done well in it. Why network marketing? Why this industry? What do you see here that is not available in the other places that you could have driven in the direction of? Uh, why network marketing? Okay, great, great. Um, for me, sir, one of the things I see here is if you truly love people, you want to stay in network marketing. If you truly love people, if you love of people, that's why I tell people, if you're going to get involved in any company, make sure you love the product or the service. Now, mm -hmm. don't just get into it. Make sure you love the product because initially you'll be grossly underpaid, but eventually you'll be grossly overpaid. Mm -hmm. So your love for people will get you to stay in the game. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why I see people, you know, make sure you truly believe in the product or the service you're getting involved in. Make sure you truly love, you know, that belief, that having that understanding and belief Eventually, if you understand that and you love people, you want to stay in the industry of network marketing. Now, what keeps lots of the leaders, if you notice, from Rof Keep to Desta Yaga to David Imoni to Alex Morton to, to yourself, Diolu Akiemi, is your love for people. Uh, I've been privileged, like I mentioned, as uh, somebody off the camera before we got on the call, somebody you'd have mentored had access to me. The impact you have created outlives you. Mm -hmm. You're doing what you're doing today, and I had you say, that let's leave materials that are going to better the lives of people that are going to be here after now. Now, look mm -hmm. at the life. Look at what is setting the tone. You know, somebody mm -hmm. said a millionaire is not somebody who has a million dollars in the bank. Said a millionaire is somebody who's been able to impact a million lives. Now, mm -hmm. look at the legacies you're setting. Now, if truly your life is about impacting people, about really touching lives and transforming lives, network marketing is the place. You know, mm -hmm. it's just a large number of people doing a few simple things over an extended period of time. Now, it's about people. Our capital mm -hmm. here are people. And if you truly love investing in people, growing people, then network marketing is it. So for me, it's about people. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, that's one. Two, the luxury, the leverage. 
You know, the whole concept of network marketing, getting discipling one to disciple others, the principle of Jesus. Mm. You know, we learned it from the master. He had mm. the three, he had the 12, he had the 70, he had 3,000, he had 5,000. The same principle of Jesus. You see, mm. just we had Peter, James, and John, we had the 12. Not being able to impact people, being able to really get it, you know, and of course they are able to impact other people. Discipling one to disciple others. If truly mm. you want to leave, you leave a legacy, then you want to think of network marketing. You know, mm. somebody once said, if you want to harvest, uh, you know, for a year, plant maize. If you want to harvest mm. for 10 years, plant trees. Mm. If, you want to, if you want to harvest for 100 years, build people. Okay. So the legacies of really building people, impacting people, for me, at least whatever income I might want to earn. I'm at the place uh, right now in the industry where I could say that, you know, I've made some money that my, my family might not need, might not struggle again for life. But after that, what then happens is a place where you can impact people. So network marketing gives you that opportunity to really be of impact to people. Be, you know, where you can become somebody who's, who they could look back and say, thank you for, thank God for Dula Kiyami. Thank God for David Imoni. Thank God for Alex Martin. All this, that for me is one of the biggest reasons why I'm here. Awesome. Awesome. I like that. Now, I like, you know, I like you to make a comment about this topic. It keeps coming around and I want every leader to comment about it because uh, like I said, people will listen to this 10 years from now, 20 years from now in defining their own, you know, formula, defining their way into this industry and their way to the top. Some people feel this thing, is it not a scam? You know, is it, is it Ponzi? You know, what's, what's, is this? And, and, you know, sometimes you look at those kind of conversations and like, I like what somebody said, they said, are people thinking, you know, can people, did people sit down to analyze it? Do they even understand what they're saying? Uh, I'd like you to give your comment about, you know, uh, where, where is the boundary of legitimacy? When is it a good opportunity? Why should people pay attention to this? Uh, and are there things that could make you not pay attention to it? Is there a way to sift the witch from the chaff? You know, is this a scam? You know, and, and what is wrong with people that think it's a scam? Okay, great, great. Thank you so much. Um, what's a scam? A scam is a dishonest scheme or fraud. Mm. A dishonest scheme or fraud. Mm. Um, you know, the presence of a fake is a proof that an original. Now, Word. first of all, network marketing is not a scheme, is not a scam. Network marketing is a profession. Now, people need to get to understand that it's not a scheme, it's not a it's not a, it's not a scam. People need to understand that. Now, the concept of network marketing, you know, is the concept of distribution. It's not a scheme, but are there? platforms that or, or companies that come in in the name of network, in the guise of network marketing, yes. There are four things you want to look out for. Is it a growing and evolving market? Mm. Does it have a unique and consumable product or service? Mm. Would it ever grow obsolete? Mm. Does it allow you to earn continually? Mm. Now, growing and evolving market, unique and consumable product or service. Now, would it ever grow obsolete? I got that from Brilliant Compensation by Team Sales. Mm. And would it allow you to earn continually? Now, if it doesn't fall in those two, two pillars, don't get involved in it. Now, is it a growing and evolving market? Is it a unique and consumable mm. product? Mm. Would it allow you to you know, enjoy, would it eventually grow obsolete? Would it allow mm. you to enjoy leverage continually? The concept of some of the products we have right now, now, of course, we can't mention products or services. Now, some mm. of the things, if it doesn't fall in that, it will have a lot of people who come in the guise of network marketing because it's a distribution network. I, have, mm. I get value from a particular product or service. I share value with an individual who gets interested. They, they buy from that, I get compensated. Have you noticed mm. that banks, even banks today, con conglomerates, blue chip companies are utilizing that concept? Yep. Have right. you noticed that? It, yeah. It's amazing it, because you see, it's, it's just a brilliant compensation. It's just a brilliant way of compensating people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay. I'm not just going to pay activity. I want to pay effort. Somebody comes into the platform and brings in an, you know, a, a group of leaders and gets them trained. I call it ATM. Attract them, train them, and motivate them. Eventually, you, 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 you give back to a money spinner. Now, mm -hmm. you, you come into the platform and you attract a group of leaders. Like I said, it's the same principle of Jesus. Disciple want to disciple others. You attract a group of leaders. You give them a blueprint. I expect any 
good structure should have a system. You know, it should be such that a, a, a dog can recruit a stud. It could be such that just anyone could bring in anyone by the virtue of a system. That's what I mean. Of course, that is in training. When you talk about teaching people, giving them the right skill set, how to present, how to, how to recruit, you know, how to follow up and providing a system. Now, it should be in such a way that people get in and they bring in leaders, get them trained to bring in other leaders. A large number of people doing a few simple things over an extended period of time is actually what network marketing is about. So when you say is a scheme or a fraud or what you call a scam, then of course, I think the person is ignorant. You know, <laughs> largely ignorant, largely ignorant. So, uh, and of course, we see that the network marketing profession is getting dominance. Have you noticed, um, Mr. Diolu, that right now as we speak, uh, there's been so much momentum across board in network marketing. That's mm. why, the, you see, it has always been there, but of course, the, the global lockdown made, made it, got it out. Mm. People, were, people are now considering having to, you know, you know, the you know, idea of staying back at home and talking about a product or service with their friends. You know, mm. I was just listening to Eric Warrior, I think yesterday or day before yesterday, coming out from a leadership conference and he noticed the, the, you know, the, the, the momentum around the companies around the world. People are now mm. seeing the idea, the, you know, seeing the, the, the concept of having to stay back at home, get value from either a product or service or a supplement or whatever it is. And because mm. I've used it and I love what I've just used and I recommend it, I get paid for that. That concept is brilliant. We're, mm. we're locked down, people... People, uh, of course, people couldn't, of course, you know, people couldn't go out, but people are still making money. Mm. You know, people have to wake up and smell the coffee. Mm. 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 So we're in a world where, you know, the whole world understands working from home now. It's uh, amazing. The, the, yeah. the momentum yeah. is something else. It's, you know, I even had Eric Warren confirm that, you know, one of the latest videos he released, you know, where the growth we're having in network marketing right now is unprecedented. We had it to be a $200 billion industry. I don't know what the account will be right after now. It's crazy. We have lots of participants right now. It's gaining more fancy. It's gaining more recognition because the concept of, because when you are locked down, how do you earn? The nine to fives. You know, so the, the concept, we now see people, lawyers, doctors, architects, professionals, now looking at the concept, now realizing the beautiful concept of network marketing. Like I said, it stems from the master himself, Jesus. That was the same principle of sharing the gospel. The gospel is everywhere right now. That same concept. You know, I think people, people who believe or stay in that camp need some education. They need some reorientation. Mm. I, don't know, I put it in, a, in, that, in that form. Th mm. that's, that's my take on that, sir. I agree. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> now, very, very quickly, I, I know that, you know, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that a lot of your motivation for some of this comes from a, from a, from a diverse background as well. And I can sense that you are someone who values and sees a spiritual context to success as well. Uh, can you share some of your, of your thoughts about that? I can see that, you know, I can, you are modeling other Jesus, you're talking about how you set up disciples. <laughs> can you share a little more light with that? In case somebody is here who feels the fact that he's a Christian or he's a Muslim or is religious is the reason why he doesn't want to get involved in this industry. Maybe sharing the spiritual perspective can give some, some insights. Okay, um, you know, I got that from Kelvin Trudeau. Um, it's a concept I, I really love to talk about. I also had that separately for my own mentor. It's called the success balance scale. Mm -hmm. Success, people, you see, the, 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 the composition of success is 90% spiritual and 10% physical. Mm -hmm. Now, what made it for me, the composition of success was, is 90% spiritual and 10% physical. Now, how do I mean by that? What makes for success is not so much about the, of, of the, 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 the skills, the how-tos, or the techniques. Mm. The spiritual side, I mean, is your belief, your imagination, mm. your magnificent obsession. Mm. All those things make for success. Now, you see, you can't put a man down who, who understands the spiritual side of success. That, those areas, those intangibles, those things you can't touch, the invisible mm. side of success. Mm. The place of desire, you know, I mentioned desire right now. It's yep. a starting point of all achievement. You know, your belief. It's hard to put such people down. So what makes for success is not so much of the techniques or the skills or the how-tos. Large on the, on the scale of success is the intangibles. Mm. Your, your imagination. Somebody said imagination 
is the largest nation in the world. Imagination. You know, all mm. those things are what make for success. Your belief, your, your, your imagination, your persistence. Persistence is the seed of faith. You know, because even in driving in network marketing, lots of people get started and they stop. You know, now what gets people going is beyond the techniques. Have you noticed that people know what to do? Oh, I'm meant to talk to people, two to five people per day. But who's doing it? I'm, yeah. I'm meant to talk to uh, one or two people per day or invite you to meetings and presentations or get people on a Zoom call. Because what we have today, our normal BOMs or PBRs have changed today is now Zoom. You know, mm. I jump from one Zoom to another. I call my colleague, what are you doing? I said, I'm jumping on the next Zoom. The world has changed. Mm. Th 10 years ago, we'd have to go to ShopRite, do the, do the belly to belly, or, you know, belly to belly kind of prospecting. The world has changed. It's amazing. It's mm. about who, how many would you speak today at ShopRite? How many would you meet today? That was, that was then five years ago, six years ago, 10 years ago. Mm. But right now, it's Zoom to Zoom. You know, yes, but <laughs> it's amazing. From one Zoom to another. But that side of success, where People, you know, meeting you, what made Diolo Akiyemi, what made Alex Morton, what made David Imonite, you know, you know, was not just the techniques, was not just the how-tos, was not just invite people to meetings. No, that's not all. What made those individuals, according to Kelvin Trudeau, one of the billionaires uh, that ever lived, Kelvin Trudeau came up with the concept of what we call success balance scale. Mm. Success is 90% spiritual, your belief, your imagination, your magnificent mm. obsession your desire, all those things is what makes for success. See, when you feed those side of success, you see, if, 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 your, if your why is big enough, the how will not matter. Yes, sir. If your why is big, for me, my why was my wife, my pregnant wife at the time, beautiful damsel I got married to, innocent lady I just went to pick up from the father's house. And of course, got her into, <laughs> it's amazing. So I told myself, Francis, this will not happen. And I, you know, for me, it was, I remember those days when we got started in network marketing, I would talk to everyone. I was, mm. I was, I kept going. I kept going. I was mm. like, I get, you know, I was out to make a difference. I call it, be, you know, make a difference, be mad. I was out there, make mm. a difference. So mm. the point is, you understand how to feed your belief. You understand how to put in all those spiritual things in place. And it comes faith coming by hearing and hearing. You have to create a situation where your belief, you know, where your goals are big that yesterday dies. The mm. other side of success, which is what we call the physical side of success, is only 10%. The how-tos, you mm. know, the skill sets, the techniques. Those, mm. Those side is good, but the success balance scale talks about 90-10. And I, I think that side is what I want people to really understand. That's why I, I, I am, I'm big on personal development. I'm big mm. on what I listen to. I'm big on what mm. goes into my mind. What forms me? Information. Mm. What forms me? So people should know that you don't just keep going, you keep growing. Mm. And the spiritual side of success, I'm talking about personal development, feeding your mind, creating, you know, just keep going, you know, having a place where you understand, you, you get out of your comfort zone. You know, mm. some people get to a point and they just, they start all, they just stay. But mm. when you understand that this is something bigger than you, you keep feeding your mind, you keep getting inspired as those who have gone ahead of you. When I look at the likes of David Moynihan, I tell myself, Francis, you just you just started. I look at Alex Morton, you just started. Individuals who do it like a million dollars in a month, people like Desta Yaga, people like Rough Kid, these individuals. And I tell myself, Francis, you need to get your mind at a place where you just keep going. You just get your mind to a place you just keep going. So the spiritual side of success, personal development, you cannot overemphasize that. In mm. the industry of network marketing, you don't just keep going, you keep growing. So that's, that's the balance, spiritual and physical. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much. Now, um, already we're getting to the last, last lap of this. So if you have questions you want to ask, please push your questions in now. We will not be able to take all of them. So the fastest fingers, if you're able to put your question in, you can take your questions and, and feature them. Uh, I have, you know, so if someone is looking at from, from today and is wondering who is this, opportunity who is this industry for who should be involved in network marketing who you know you've defined the four checkers yeah so that probably gives an idea of the kind of people we should be looking for but someone is listening today and is wondering do i do i have what it takes am i qualified what is required what will my background be what must i have can you please lay on us what do they need who is this industry for anyone who's teachable and coachable mm. 
Mm. If you're teachable and coachable, then you're ready. You're ready for you know for 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 billionaire status in network marketing. Mm. If you're teachable and coachable, you see, this is not a scheme. This is a skill, and people should mm. recognize that. And that's why I love what you're doing, Mr. Dula Kemi. I, I just love what you're doing. You know, modeling, bringing qualitative information to the space. This is not a scheme. Mm. It's a skill. If you're teachable and coachable, and of course you you have a desire, that's the starting point of all achievement. What I had was just a desire. You know, mm. looking at the four checkers, I didn't have any sense of influence. Mm. I, I didn't have I didn't have the means of getting started. I borrowed the money from my in-law. Mm. <laughs> you know, it, it's amazing. <laughs> mm. It's I didn't have all that to get started. The same company mm. I made a hundred million from. You know, it, it's amazing, but I had the desire. So it doesn't matter where you are right now. Life is not a boxing bout. A knockdown is not a knockout. You know, we have we have we're attracting professionals today. We're attracting doctors and lawyers. You know, I had a HR professional. You know, you know we have different sort of individuals today coming because it's a it's a two hundred billion dollar industry. It's amazing. You see, somebody gets started today. You know, I'm putting the work, and of course, he goes six figures. Legitimately in network marketing. Now, but it yep. starts with a desire. It starts. With, you have to have a desire. You have to be teachable and coachable. You know, I get people get started, and of course. You know, you know, pride comes in. You need to have the humility to know that you don't have you don't have everything. Humility is knowing that you don't have something. Humility is knowing that you, you're not there yet. Humility is knowing that you know you need to really you, you need to keep going. You see, the more you learn, the more you earn. Mm. Life is a journey and not a destination. I'm at a place right now where because you see, if you have the biggest kid in the block, you have a problem. Mm. You need to get to the point where you know you have to keep learning. You have to keep growing and not just keep going. So if you if you have a desire and you are teachable and coachable, you're going to win big in network marketing. Big, big time. And like I had mentioned, some of the few people I've met, Diolo Akiemi right here, he never knew from afar was an influence to me. You know, I hear Lai talk about, Lai Iwala Matthew talk about Diolo Akiemi, talk about what he's doing. And I told myself, if he can do it, I can do it. What mm. anyone can do, everyone can do. You know, and I'm so proud that you, you know, you do what you're doing and you're still standing you know, setting the pace and creating a legacy, you know, for the industry of network marketing in Nigeria and Africa and around the world. I'm so proud of you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm proud of you as well. We're doing this together. <laughs> We're all doing this together. Now, there's a key question here that I always like to ask every, everyone and someone wants to know, if you're going to summarize your three, your success, your success secrets into three, the top three things that have made you the person who crushes goals, breaks records, goes for a hundred million, uh, and does this kind of things, what are the top three things that people need to pay attention to? You know, how can people, and I know that, you know, I know that this is not, this is not how fiery you are 10 years ago. So there's a lot of growth that has happened as well. What are the top three secrets uh, that can get anybody there? Okay, great. Thank you, sir. Um, I, I mentioned that in the course of my discussion. The first is you must have a desire. Desire is the starting point of an achievement. That's where it starts from. Um, mm. You know, it, it's it's it, that's where it starts from. If you don't have a desire, nothing happens. It's you must have a desire to succeed. You must have you know that magnificent obsession to succeed, and that's why it starts with having a why. What's your why? Tie tie that desire to something that really provokes you. For me, it was I didn't want to see my family suffer. I didn't want to see my wife molested. I didn't want to see my children suffer. You know, it, it's that for me. It starts when your why is big enough. The how will not matter. Mister Diolo Akemi, you needed to see me ten years ago. I was out there. When I had my first break, in my first three months, I made my first 1 million. Coming from a pace of 64,000 naira per month to 1 million naira per month. I knew, I saw possibilities. I said, Francis, in three months, in, in five months, I, my, my income got to about 2 million naira per month. In, in my seventh month, I said, in like 3 million, it got to about 4.6 million. Mm. You know, and that was monthly. And this was a young man earning 64,000 naira per month. Mm. You know, I drive back towards the tax the Shepherd House where we used to, where head of office is still right now. And I drive around the place, you know, and I remember driving in there and with a brand new car in three months, I was still working there. And then I was, I was doing like a million over a million with, with a brand new car in three months. It was, it was game over. I saw possibilities. You know, vision is not what you see with your ordinary eye. Vision is what you see with the canvas of your mind. I saw possibilities. Guys, the industry of network marketing is big. It's, it's opened my mind completely. And that's why we're attracting lots of professionals because those who, you know, people just need to recognize this is a huge industry. Now, 
Top three for me is desire. It starts with the desire. Number two is what I mentioned earlier. I call that the teachability. I call that the teachability index. You have to be willing to learn and willing to change. If your willingness to learn is 100% and your willingness to change is zero, your teachability index is zero. I'll say it again. If your willingness to learn is 100% and your willingness to change is zero, your teachability index is zero. You know, you know imagine telling a teammate, please, this is the way things are done. And you know what? He wants to do things his own way. You know, that guy is not teachable and coachable. For me, it's nest. It, that, that for me is, is nest. So you mm. see people in the industry, they want to grow, but you're not teachable. You have to be teachable and coachable. Humility is knowing that you don't have something. That's humility. You know, like I said, I learned from you from afar, still learning from you. You know, and of course, you know, learning from my mentor, uh, you, know, you know, it's amazing what we have. So you have to be teachable. It starts with the desire. It doesn't stop there. If you're teachable and coachable, you're, it's called the teachability index. Your willingness to learn multiplied by willingness to change because you have to be willing to learn and willing to change. And number three is what I call the success balance scale. And that's the place of personal development where you feed your mind, where you feed your mind, where you, so much that your goal becomes so big that yesterday dies. Your, your imagination, your belief, you, you are conscious of what goes inside of you. You know, all those things are people, the people don't pay attention to that. When you have teammates who are not developing in, internally, it's just a matter of time. That same person will jump out. Uh, you know, I, I love what, I, I, it's, it's just that I, I can't mention company, but one of the companies that, you know, that having a cult-like followership, you know what I'm talking about, Desa Yaga. You know, they have a cult-like followership, so much so that it's hard to get any of those guys recruited because they are so big on personal development. Now, that's what you need to know. You see, you need to keep going and not just you, you keep, keep growing. The place of feeding your mind, growing your belief, creating the right environment, creating the right vision board. Four things impact your belief. Like I said, your, your, the information that goes inside of you. Information. You know, when you feed your mind, your mind will fill your pocket. Information. Your environment. Your, I have, I've set up a vision environment. Everywhere around me, I get to see what I want to see. You see, you need to go there before you get there. It starts from the mind. You need to go there before you get there. Information, the right environment, the right association. You know, for me, I don't stay around people who are not going where I want to go. I want to, I, you know, I want to stay around people who motivate me. If you're the biggest kid in the block, you have a problem. And of course, the right experiences. People should actually take out the right experiences. You know, had, you know, to, you know like I told you, just after the lockdown, I needed to just feed my man a little. Where I could think of going was to go check out Coscaris. You know, I was in London in February. I remember going out to check out the Rolls Royce shop, the Bentley dealership. You need, to, you need to feed your mind. All those things are great. So I call that the success balance scale. It's not just about the skill set. It's about growing yourself. First, desire. Secondly, you need to be teachable and coachable. I call that teachability index. And lastly, what I defined earlier, the success balance scale. Success is 90% spiritual and 10% physical. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, if you're here today, I'm sure you have been learning. I'm sure you have been learning passionately. I hope you're taking notes and I hope you are, you know, uh, telling yourself how I must apply this and I must apply this quickly. I think we've come to the end of the uh, runway of the time that we have. Um, it's been live on the Institute of Network Marketing and a lot of people have been sharing their comments there. They've been going fire, fire, teachable and coachable. It's been, you know, it's been a lot of learning crammed into this meeting. I have a feeling that we'll do another meeting off the records of Wednesdays uh, before another Wednesday. Uh, I have that feeling. So we'll keep it close and we'll look at the possibility of doing that. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions out there. There's a question and answer box there for if you want to ask an extra question. I think we kind of like exhausted the good number of uh, uh, possible questions. But if you have any question you want to ask, please, uh, we have the next one minute or thereabouts to check. I'm, I'm checking on Facebook as well to see what the questions are. People are saying, I'm learning. One never stops learning. Somebody's saying they're seeing possibilities. Uh, there are many comments that are flying around of what people are seeing and learning, and I think it's been beautiful. Is there any question, any question you'd like to ask tonight? Anything that is on top of your mind that will, you know, push across to him before we come to a close? We are about to close. Any questions today uh, so that we can take that up? Um, you know, people are just, you know, someone says he has explained it to the point of unexplainable. <laughs> 
They said you have explained it to the both of you <laughs> to the point where there are no questions. Okay, so I'm checking out on the Facebook page. I'm checking out on all the places to see if there are any questions that have been answered. Uh, and I and I think you know I think it's been awesome tonight. Um, I think anybody who sits down with this and listens to this will get a good handle on the things that they need to do. Because someone is asking a question here. Uh, he says, don't you think if your how will not matter because your why is big enough, people may go the way of achieving success through unjust means? <laughs> Someone says, you know, if your why is big enough, your how will show up. So if your how doesn't matter, will people not do it dishonestly? Uh, I think that's in this no, perspective. No, that, that's of, all, that, that, that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, you know, that's not what I mean. I know. Um, so. <laughs> it may, it may, it means that you know um you know somebody said ignorance on fire is better than knowledge on ice you know um what i had initially was just i didn't know so much about the industry when i got started i didn't know so much i must tell you mr diolu but i had a desire mm. that's why i say that's where it starts from it's a starting point of all achievements i didn't know so much mm. uh but what i knew was that i i knew that somebody had done it i knew there was a mustafa beyond at the time i knew there was an innocent danny at the time uh, who did it then? And mm. I told myself, Francis, if these guys can do it, you can do it. But, and mm. thankfully I had a mentor then who started to channel and paddle me. And I didn't start, I didn't stop learning. Mm. So what I meant by that is lots of people know so much, but they do nothing. Mm. Action is the father of knowledge. It's not mm. net seat marketing, it's network marketing. There's work to be done. Mm. We can hear the figures and the numbers, but I can tell you lots of work. It's, it's back to back, zoom to zoom. Uh, I was restless at the time when I started. You know, for me, was to hit the next rank. Three months uh, then in that company, got a brand new car. So what I mean by that is you, 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 your why needs to be so big that it drives you. Something like a, an obsession. It wakes you up in the morning, I just want to get it done. You know, but of course, you don't just keep going. You have to keep growing. And in the, in the, in the, in the, in the confines of the, the provisions allowed by the company. So don't get me wrong. When I mean uh, when your why is big enough, I mean you need to grow to the point where your goals are so big that yesterday dies. So what I mean by that is you have, you have to get to the point where that goal becomes an obsession. You wake up to think about it, you keep going until it's done. So for me, that's what that means. It doesn't mean you get out of the confines of the polars of uh, integrity. No, I don't mean that. Okay. Thank you very much. I think it's clear enough. Um, well, in the absence of other questions, I'll throw the last one and then we'll call it a night. Uh, uh, somebody says I've been here for a few minutes and I've learned a lot already. It's been an explosive session. Great job, great one. So many good comments coming from the Institute of Network Marketers. So there's a lot of uh, positive props for this. People are enjoying and learning and we'll see the booms in their businesses. I'd like to, you know, say this to you. Um, is there any, you know, passing word you have for those out there who, you know, somebody who's just listening today, they don't understand the industry, they're getting warmed up of course all of these conversations gets people warmed up to realize really if this kind of person can be here and he's spitting fire like this maybe i need to consider this you know maybe i need to do, you know, just stop going i can start growing maybe i need to consider you know how i can be involved in something that really shows my love for people and my desire for leverage is there any parting shots you have for somebody out there uh you want to close last two minutes last one minute just drop it like it's hot you've been dropping it all night long uh, just give you know what what would you like to leave us with as you as you step out of this conference to, or this conversation tonight? Yeah, I, I had a, had a statement many years ago, a while ago, and um, that really stayed with me for a very long time. Um, success is functionally simple, but emotionally difficult. Okay. Success is functionally simple, but emotionally difficult. That's why I talk so much tonight, if you noticed, about the success balance scale. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I mean by that? What do you need to do in network marketing? You know, I you know, had the story of uh, my mentor, Mr. David Moniti, and he was talking about uh, how he struggled mightily, had his breakthrough in the first four years. Today, he's a, he's a decamillionaire in the industry. And all he was doing was to speak to two to five people per day. That's all he was doing. Mm -hmm. and, but he did not give up along the way. He didn't mm -hmm. stop along the way. If he had stopped, at one time, you know, he didn't stop along the way. He kept going. Consistency is better than genius. Success is functionally simple, but emotionally difficult. For some people, they will need the patience of waiting through the process. Initially, you'll be grossly underpaid, but eventually you'll be grossly overpaid. 
if you can grow your emotions to, to wait through the weights of the, pro because network marketing could be very challenging. But ladies and gentlemen, if you could go, survive, just like the, my first year in network marketing, he said, if you could survive 10 years of network marketing, you reach beyond your widest imagination. If you could survive the emotions, you could survive the rejections, and then of the four mental enemies, apathy, rejection, deception, if you could survive those mental enemies, you know, the many no's, I, I, I don't want to, I, it's, you know, all those things, if you could survive them, that emotional state, if you get to the point where you could end in mind, that is, mm. for me, the biggest part of growth. Watch every leader who's made success. They are, they are big on emotions. They are big on emotions. You know, mm. where they, they know, it, it, you know, they understand the place of emotions. Now, I'm saying this to somebody listening to me and wondering, I started three months ago, I've not succeeded. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting the big box. I've been here for one year, I've not gotten the big box. If you could survive, my first year network marketing is, some, is a must read for everyone. So if you could survive the industry of network marketing in 10 years, you'll be rich beyond your widest imagination. For some, they don't have to get to the point, maybe two years, four years, or five years. But what it means is that you have to have the mental strength. Success is function. What you need to do is simple. But if you are consistently consistent, patience is not waiting and watching. It is waiting and walking. Mm. Keep putting the wood in the fire. Keep sowing the seed. So mm. we fall on the good ground. Mm. So we fall on the tony ground. So we fall mm. on, on the stony ground. But eventually, I can guarantee you. Now, if you keep sowing the seed, the harvest will come. Success is functionally simple, but emotionally difficult. That's the place of, place of growth. Keep growing your emotions. And of mm. course, when you understand that dynamics, you'll be very successful and it's going to be billionaire status in network marketing. Awesome. 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 <laughs> I don't know if anybody's out there and you want to just, you know, say some good words and say thank you, uh, you know, and say well done for the presentation today. I think it's been awesome. Uh, and I think anybody who is serious about the industry, who wants to take things to the next level, you have all the materials you need, you have the information you need to go wild with this. Uh, you know, it's not watching and waiting. It is watching it is what it is waiting and walking not waiting and you know not uh waiting and watching it will eventually it happen uh -huh. it's just so, a matter of time yeah so patience <laughs> is not docile patience is active <laughs> thank you very much uh chihora francis thank you so much i think it's been an awesome night um and i think you know i think we've got we've got more than our money's back in today um, the the video will be shared. In, interestingly, I discovered something. I don't want to do the video. I realized that when things went offline a bit, it took off the video as well. But I got it back somewhere in the middle. So we're going to have some of it. Hey. I, may, I may be buzzing you so that we can do a fully recorded version. Uh, it was awesome tonight. I've also gotten it. On, it's live on Facebook. So someone is working on making sure that can be taken out from there and cropped as well. So it's going to be amazing. Thank you very much, uh, Francis. I think that was beautiful. Uh, we look forward to having you again and maybe on other platforms i can see that on your profile you speak so i expect a lot of uh, calls to speak in different places from this thank you very much that was beautiful thank uh, you so and much everybody you. who came around today you know well done as well nice having you around uh nice um having your comments somebody says thank you very much for this i joined late but i'm sure good to watch the video lots of quotes i'm taking on board okay so i think people have been blessed beyond uh, beyond world thank you very much uh I'm going to play some music and then we we'll wind it down from there. Uh, <laughs> you know, wind it down from there. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Francis. Very good. Thank you, sir.